Longjian Night Market here in Taichung, Taiwan. So I finally ventured out of Taipei to go to Taichung and I knew the first thing I had to do was come to the night market. This is actually the biggest night market in Taiwan. So you know that it's filled with good eats, shopping, games, all the classic night market stuff. So I'm gonna take you guys on a full blown food tour of the whole night market, so let's go check it out. So we just stopped by our first stop of the night, which is Ming Lung Pancake. They sell these pancakes and you can choose from a variety of sauces. I went with their most famous one, which is their specialty house-made sauce. So the texture of the pancake looks kind of doughy, like it definitely looks like it has a chew to it on the outside and then beautiful eggs and scallions as well as that sauce inside. This is supposed to be one of the best eats at this night market and they always have a really long line. So I hope it's worth the wait, let's try it. Wow, so firstly, it's very piping hot. Oh my gosh, be careful when you bite into that because it's fresh off the griddle. And the pancake definitely does have that nice, a little bit of chew texture. And since it's so thin, you get a lot of layers of the pancake and then the egg and then the sauce. It's a little bit spicy, savory, as well as sweet. So there's a lot of flavor going on in this pancake. Mm. I can see why there's such a long line for this thing. It's absolutely delicious. All right, so for my second thing, I got this drink from City Milk, and they're apparently very popular for their papaya milk. The cost of this is 60 NT, and I really need it right now because it's so much hotter in Taichung than in Taipei. So much needed, let's try it. Mmm, wow, the flavor of the papaya is so strong. And I also got less sugar as well, and the sweetness level is not too sweet, just the right amount of sweetness. When you come to Taiwan, you need to try papaya milk. Like, I miss this stuff when I'm in the States, so you gotta try it. Whew. This is really, really refreshing. Okay, so we just went to our third stop of this night market food tour and we got this beautiful fried chicken cutlet, which is one of my absolute favorite Taiwanese foods of all time. It's literally the most juiciest, crispiest, beautiful piece of chicken. So we went to this place called Angel Fried Chicken. I got the medium spicy and they really loaded that seasoning on. So I'm really excited. This is like piping hot right now and it looks so perfectly crispy. It's literally fresh out of the fryer. So yeah, let's just dig in. Mm, oh my God, that is incredibly juicy. Oh my God, the crisp is so perfect. The battering on the outside is very, very light actually. From first impression, I thought the battering might be too heavy, but no. It's very, very thin, very light, perfectly crispy. And the chicken in there is so moist and tender and juicy. Oh my God. I cannot believe this is chicken breast. I've literally never had chicken breast so juicy and moist. And that medium spice definitely adds a nice kick to it. I don't think they skimped on the spice at all. I can definitely taste that heat in my mouth. Mm. Wow. I might even like this better than my favorite one in Taipei, hot star fried chicken. This is literally so good. <laughs> I could cry. I'm not even being dramatic. Well, yeah, I probably am, but I just get emotional over food, okay? Sorry, lighting is kind of wonky here. It's really hard to film yourself when you're at a night market, so please forgive me. So the next stop we stopped at is probably 
the one with the longest line at the night market that I saw. So I'm expecting this to be really good. So this is the Feng Jia sweet potato balls. And I've had sweet potato balls at other night markets and I really like them. They're always so crispy on the outside, fluffy on the inside, chewy as well. So that's what makes sweet potato balls really, really special. And you can see them making it super, super fresh right in front of your eyes because since there's such a long line, the demand is super high. So I'm really, really excited about this. So I actually got just the small bag today because it's just me and I'm already having trouble finishing everything. So the small bag is 40 NT and they also have a medium and a large bag. Just on first impression, it looks very nice golden brown. And these already look a little different from the sweet potato balls I've tried before. Like the shape is a little different. I don't really know exactly how to describe it, but let's just give it a try. Mm, wow. What I really like about this is that even though it's freshly fried, it's not very oily. And the inside is super, super chewy. You can see that almost stretchy, mochi-like texture. And wow, it's just incredible. I can't believe how non-greasy it is. This is a really good light snack. Mm. Okay, I'm starting to get really full, but we just stopped by this golden fried squid cart and they have a lot of flavors to choose from. I decided to go with the garlic salt and pepper because I love garlic so much and they really loaded on that raw garlic. So it looks really, really crispy and fried on the outside and the squid, when I poke through it, it feels really, really tender. So I'm really excited. Let me just get some garlic and get a squid and let's give it a try. Mm. Mm. You got those nice little crispies on the outside. The squid is nice and tender. It definitely has a little chew to it, like a springiness, and it has a lot of flavor. Like it tastes very fresh. Mm. I love the bounciness when I'm chewing on the squid. And then when you add that raw garlic, I mean, I know some of you guys might not like raw garlic, but I personally like it. So it actually adds a lot to it. Mmm, whew, that garlic is spicy. <laughs> but yeah, if you don't like garlic, don't worry, they have tons of flavors for you to choose from. So I'm sure you'll find something that you like there. All right, so we just stopped by our last step of the night and I'm really excited about this because I stumbled upon this place that's really well known for their fresh taro balls. And this is one of my favorite Taiwanese desserts because you can have it hot or cold. You can literally enjoy it in any weather because you can have it heated up and it will really soothe and comfort you. Or you can have it with ice at the bottom. So then it's very, very refreshing. So at this stand, this is the most popular item. It comes with four different types of things in here. So you got the boba, red bean, taro balls, and you have fresh taro chunks as well. And like I said, you can get it hot or cold and you can also get it with a drizzle of condensed milk on the top, which will make it extra sweet. So this dessert literally came just in time since I've been so thirsty eating all those fried foods and this is gonna cool me down really quick and it's such a sweet way to end the night. So let me get a bite. We got some boba, some red bean. Let me get a sweet potato ball, a little bit of the fresh taro as well. All right, let's dig in. Mmm, mmm. Wow, 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 wow. Those sweet potato balls are really nice and soft very chewy they just have the perfect texture and the red bean adds a bit of sweetness red bean and condensed milk literally are a match made in heaven this is super refreshing right now mm. i'm gonna gobble this whole thing up there's so many textures going on in this because the taro chunks they have like a potato consistency and then when you get those taro and sweet potato balls they're so soft and chewy mm. 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 this is literally the perfect way to end the night 
All right, guys, my feet are tired, my tummy is full, and I think that's about all I can eat for tonight. So I hope you guys enjoy this food tour of the Feng Chao Night Market. Make sure you come early because this place is huge and you want as much time as possible to explore and eat everything. So if you enjoyed it, definitely let me know by giving it a thumbs up and please subscribe if you haven't already. I also have other videos in Taipei. So if you want to check them out, I'll leave them right here. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.